everyone, Miles J here. Welcome to Q&A number 26. Hey! I don't know what that noise was. All right, so Q&A is this little thing I do every other Wednesday where I answer some of your stupid and or thought-provoking questions. Now, let's begin. <clears throat> What is your favorite Korean drama? All right, so my favorite K-drama by far would have to be 12 Signs of Love. Y'all have to, have to, have to check that out, especially if you like astrological signs and man, and especially if you like two of those mixed in together. Let me tell you about this show. The main character is a reporter, and she accidentally assumes the pseudonym of some other writer who writes about sex, like hot ass sex. But she ends up breaking with up with her boyfriend in like the beginning of the series and she's like all upset and shit and she writes this paper and then she sends it in to her boss, drunk as fuck. And her boss is like, this is some good ass shit. And lo and behold, she wants her to write in the pseudonym. Also, she wants her to date 12 different men. But the problem is, is that the pseudonym that she assumed, the person who originally had that fictitious name, quit. She quit. So now it's on her sleep with 12 different men and she's like I don't know if I could, my pussy can handle that. I don't know if my pussy game is that strong. I don't So she has to go through 12 different men um, of the astrological signs and um, let me tell you Aquarius fine, Leo fine. There's a lot of fine ass men. I just, I just need y'all to see it. And then plus she has one of the best friends ever. Let me tell you her friend be hooking her ass up with everybody. Like everybody. And not only that, but her friend is like as free spirited, so she like can have sex, but she doesn't want to get like married afterwards. Like you know how most K dramas are like, mm, I can't even kiss you. Mm. She's like, oh yeah, let's do it. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I was like, thank you Jesus, thank you God. Oh my God, you guys really need to check that out. Rant over. How do you feel about Katy Perry's roar and Lady Gaga's applause? What do you think about all their fans fighting? Shut up, car. To be perfectly honest with you guys, Katy Perry's roar and Lady Gaga's applause are just kind of eh songs to me. I mean, I really like the da na 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 song. Na na na. I like the chorus of applause and um, the roar is like even more like eh to me. I don't know. I don't. I think the fans fighting it's stupid and it just thinking about it just takes energy takes my energy like I don't have time for that I don't have the energy to be fucking fighting about some damn celebrity and how much better this queen is than that queen like I don't give a fuck I don't I just like whatever I like and if you don't like it then fuck off I'm sorry not really but you know bye it's okay one bitch what are some of your pet peeves some of my biggest pet peeves would have to be when someone touches or uses something of mine without asking me first. I mean, I'm okay with touching things, but if you like using something that I bought that I would have to go out and buy again because you used it, then that is not okay. You have to ask me first. Unless you're gonna buy some more, then feel free. And then the next thing would be, y'all know if y'all have like like a bathtub and a shower mix and you got the little knob that um, changes when it's like, bath water and shower water well I hate it when people leave the shower thing up so that way when you turn on the the, the faucet or whatever the shower water just comes spewing out at you this is the reason why I never step in the tub before I get into the shower well, part one of that reason is because the water's gonna be cold but the other part is because some bitches just be doing that shit and sometimes I don't have my shower cap on and that is just not okay I don't like that have you ever tricked a straight guy into thinking you're a girl? Now you see, if I ever did trick a straight guy into thinking I was a girl, it was never my intention to do that. But it has happened on occasion, and usually most people can tell I'm a man because, you know, I don't have any breasts, and I'm really tall, and I have a masculine jawline, and my voice. So there's like some things in like, you know, Adam's apple, but um, it happened a lot in Las Vegas. Like I would be walking down this long stretch of road, and it was like, there was nothing there but desert and like a golf course. It's like the longest walk ever and there'd be cars driving by the road or by me 
and sometimes cars would like pull over and be like, you need a ride? And then I'd be like, no. And then they would like stay there and like look at me like, are you a dude? And I'm like, yeah. And then the, they would go like, and like, oh my God. It, that actually happened like once or twice and it was fucking hilarious on both occasions. But also for that reason, I never used to go out that often because you know, Las Vegas is kind of a scary place sometimes. Ooh, I'm dark. Pause. Turn the lights on. Okay, that's like way too orange. No. That is not okay. All right, fix. Miles, I'm so excited for your Q&A. My question is, what do you look for in a partner? And five turn-ons plus five turn-offs. My five turn-offs would be someone who isn't afraid to get turned with me, you know, a little crazy. I like people who are kind of outgoing, but if you're not, that's okay too. You could be shy, I'll just pull your ass outside anyway. Someone who listens, like actively listens to what I'm saying. Someone who can have intellectual conversations with and someone that I can have like stupid, really dumb conversations with slash arguments. So that would be fun. I like physical contact that turns me on. And it's not even like just sex, but like, you know, like a pat on the head or the shoulder, or wrap around, you know, wrap your arm around my shoulders or like, you know, your arms around my neck or my waist or hell, you could be like cradling my leg for all I care. You know, that physical contact, like any kind, is always good to me. Except the kind that involves fists. Keep fists, all fists. It doesn't even matter where the fist is going, just keep it away from me. <laughs> okay? And um, someone who's motivated and has a great smile. Turnoffs will be bad breath, closed minded, ignorant, lazy slash messy, and I just put like Republican because I couldn't really think of anything else. But if you're a Republican and you're like a good person, then whatever. I don't know how like government stuff works. So, next question. Miles, what would you do if Broom cheated on you with Mom? Uh, 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 uh. Why? Okay, first, okay, stop. Second time of everybody talking about how Brooms cheating on me with some fucking imaginary fucking person that doesn't even fucking exist. None of you fucking know Broom. You don't even know Broom. You don't even have a fucking Broom like this. Why are you talking about my boyfriend like he's trying to make him, trying to make me mad at him, saying that he's cheating on me with fucking appliances in the kitchen? This is a person, okay? I'm a person. I have fucking feelings. Stop fucking making it sound like fucking Broom is fucking cheating on me. Because I know he loves me. So stop. Stop it. It'll be okay, bro. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my god. Okay. Next fucking question. Your three favorite pairs of shoes. Oh my god, okay, so let me guys show you my favorite three pairs of shoes. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you guys, oh my god. Bam! I really love these sneakers. I got these off of daddysmoney.com. They're like by Skechers. They have a lot of really cool designs, and this is a floral print sneaker. And it's also got a wedge hidden in the sole. These are my favorite high heel boots. They are so comfortable, they make my calves look so good, and they are really good for stripper dance and um, sex dancing. So I really love these boots. As you can see, the heel is scuffed as shit because I've been working. And these are my dick kicking shoes. They are the spiked leaders. I love these so much. I be hitting dudes like boom, boom. They are clunky yet funky. What do you think about all the drama going on about Miss America not being American? Okay. So, if y'all haven't heard, which I'm sure you have, there was like a huge commotion on Twitter and shit about Miss America not being, not being American, even though she was born here in America because she's of Indian descent. And it's like, these are people on Twitter, first of all, so it's not like any of them can be really taken seriously because it was just random people. And it's like, they're probably all living bumfuck 
nowhere. So, I mean, I'm just saying, for those of you who are intelligent that live in bumfuck nowhere, this is not going to you. You know who it's going to if you live in bumfuck nowhere. You know. They was like, she's not American because she's got a darker complexion than Beyonce. So, I don't even think I have to, like, really explain why this is so terrible and racist. But... You know what, I'm just gonna link you guys. Soundly Awake made a video about this. So you can just click the link and you know, he'll talk about it. Uh, and make sure you watch the whole thing through, so. You know, just do that. What is your skincare routine? Alrighty, so first I'm gonna start out by washing my face with this Let the Good Times Roll Facial Cleanser by Lush. It is the best smelling shit out there, I promise you. So you're only gonna need to roll up like a tiny little, it says a pea-sized ball in here, but I don't know if that's enough. So I do just a little bit more than that, and then I just, as you can see, I just rub it all over my face, and I, um, you know, scrub lightly, or like medium hard-ish kind of, whatever. Um, and then I just wash all off the excess and boom, my face be smelling so fine. Next, I use a skin to mint. Um, it's like extra vitamin E or something. It's in a little pink bottle. And um, I just shave with this. It helps keep my skin non-irritated and nice and moisturized. Moisturized, my baby. Next, and then I wash the excess off of that as well. Next, after this step, I just pop in my contacts, my circle lenses, because my face is nice and clean, and this will be a nice step before I moisturize my face, because once I moisturize, it's really hard to get these in. You see the difference? It's crazy, isn't it? That shit cray. Next, I'm using this Jerleek Eye Cream. It's a firming, revitalizing eye treatment, and this shit works so bomb, I'm telling y'all. And then I moisturize with Lush's and Zemion. I think that's how you say it. And I just dot it all over my face like so. You don't really need that much because this shit is moist. And then boom, I'm done. Thanks for watching Q&A number 26. <laughs> I'm so cute. Q&A. Subscribe.